Hey there. Welcome back, friends, to another episode of Rustic Renderings. I'm your pal, RJ. Boy, fall is well underway. Thanksgiving's right around the corner. So I thought it'd be a great idea to make ourselves a nice little pallet turkey. Now, just so you know, you can't eat it, but you can decorate with it. So, let's get to it. Just a little side note, you probably could eat it, but you probably wouldn't want to, because it's going to taste like wood and paint. So, anyway, let's get to it. Since I already have all my pallet boards all cut out and prepared ahead of time, we're going to jump straight into outlining. If you've seen any of my rustic videos before, you know the importance of outlining. But you know who doesn't know the importance of outlining? The folks over at 20th Century Fox. That's right, this rant's going to be all about the X-Men movies. A franchise of movies that range in quality and enjoyability from the levels of, holy crap, that was utterly fantastic, down to the depths of, meh, I guess it was watchable. I think that this can be directly attributed to the lack of an overall outline for the series. Now, some of this could be caused by not having the same director from movie to movie, but even consecutive titles that have the same director just kind of lose the continuity between the movies. Like, why would you set up a plot point of Mystique disguising herself as Stryker and then kidnapping Logan, presumably to save him, only to come back in the next movie and it actually be Stryker that took him all along. What? And speaking of Stryker, I mean, why even include him in the Apocalypse movie anyways? I mean, seriously, he just appears out of left field and says, hey, I'm gonna kidnap this group of teenagers and take them up north, just so I can pencil in his cameo of Hugh Jackman trying to do his best impression of Jack Black and Nacho Libre. What? That's the equivalent of me saying, hey, I'm gonna set up this tool for this video and then not use it. Like, here, check this out. Here's some footage of me setting up my Dremel tool. What's it have to do with this video? Absolutely nothing. I mean, come on, Brian Singer. What are you thinking, man? And by all accounts, it doesn't look like anything's going to change with these new entries of the movies. Like Dark Phoenix is completely disregarding the really cool ending to Apocalypse, which was probably the best part of the movie. The fact that the characters are finally going to wear their iconic costumes. But no, we're going to switch back to a bunch of matching outfits that look stupid. If you've been paying any attention to my little rant here during this entire video, you realize it has nothing to do with me making this pallet turkey. But much like the X-Men movie rights being bought out by Disney and soon to be rebooted, Rustic Renderings is going to get rebooted too. So it's going to be something new and fresh and this entry just won't matter anyway. Or maybe it'll stay the same, I don't know, I'm kind of making this up as I go along if you haven't noticed. Anywho, I'm going to jump off my soapbox here folks and start talking about what I'm doing in the video besides looking at the camera all creepy. Much like a downhill skier who had a mishap on the mountainside, this little Tom Turkey is in need of a back brace. And to attach the back brace, I'm falling back on my old trusty drywall screws, which I'm gonna keep using until I run out. And after the back brace is attached, this little puppy needs a little splash of color. But before we go adding any color to it, we gotta outline where the body's gonna be. Yeah, speaking of outlines, I'm, I'm still agitated about these X-Men movies, folks. Honestly, 20th Century Fox in general, I mean, maybe it's a blessing that they got bought out by Disney, cause holy crap, that, that studio's got some really, really bad track records. I mean, look at Aliens and Predator and, you know, all that, it just, ugh. But you know what? I'm not going to get on my soapbox too much about those franchises. I'll save those for another rustic video down the road. 
There's plenty of material there to pick apart. Eyeballs. We're painting the eyeballs, and now we're painting the feathers. For the color scheme of this here Tom Turkey, I decided, as you can see, to stick with orange and yellow and red for the feathers and a little bit of brown for the body. Now it's time to put the rest of this little turkey together. As you can see, I decided to start by clamping the two pieces of the body together so I could find a placement for the eyeballs and attach them in place. And right now it kind of looks like a brown bowling pin. And what I'm doing here is attaching the beak and beard into place. There, now that looks like a turkey. Although it does kind of look like a fat turkey. I think I'm going to have to trim a little bit of weight off of this one. And to do that, I'm going to use my little bandsaw, which I haven't really talked about too much yet. I bought this little guy off of Facebook Marketplace. And so far, I've been really pleased with it. Works like a charm. There, now we got Tom a little leaner. Now we just gotta attach the body into place and we're gonna have this puppy all finished up. There we go, got you all fixed up. And you look delicious, I, I mean, festive. Well there you have it folks, we just think. In just a few easy steps, you yourself could have your very own Alley Turkey. I'm Josh, or RJ, and I'm here to tell you thanks for giving me your time watching my video. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. You see what I did there? I made a little pun for Thanksgiving. You're welcome. See you next time. It's me, Josh, because you didn't know that already. I just wanted to say a special thanks to my buddy, Mike the Media Dragon, for the input and the suggestions on a couple of the jokes in the video today. Um, if you haven't watched any of his stuff, go check it out. He's seriously really funny. In fact, uh, I believe he's actually currently voted funniest YouTuber by the uh, Neo New England Herald uh, for the past three years running. So, I mean, that's pretty high accolades. Oh, so, thanks again for watching, and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.